Hello, kindergarten, and happy Monday. It is Miss Brennan, and it is time for a brand new set of books this week. And we are going to start our week off with a very cool story called Shoes, Shoes, Shoes. Now, the author of our story is Anne Morris. And you're going to notice something a little different about this story. We usually see pictures or drawings on the cover of our story, but we see something a little different. We see photographs. Now, do you remember what types of books normally have photographs in them? Take a moment to think. What types of books normally have photographs in them? You probably guessed it, it's nonfiction stories. So I'm thinking already in my mind as I look at the cover of our story, this is probably a nonfiction story because nonfiction stories usually have photographs. Not all the time, but we know they normally do. And of course our story is gonna be all about shoes, shoes, shoes. And we see on the cover of our story, these two children, and they look like they have rain boots. Now in some parts of the United States, they call them galoshes, but typically here we call them rain boots. And we're gonna learn about different types of shoes. But as we are listening to this amazing story, I want you to focus on something very important. I want you to think about the main idea. Now you might be wondering, what is the main idea? The main idea is the most important idea in the picture or in the story. So as we listen to Shoes, 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 we wanna think, what's the most important idea? What's the most important thing that the author wants to learn from this story of Shoes, Shoes, Shoes? So let's go ahead and get started with our story. And again, it's by Anne Morris. We see lots of photographs. Here we go. And when we first open up the story, this is a house that is built in the shape of a shoe. Right here, you can see there's ballet shoes. All right. Shoes, shoes, all kinds of shoes. Wherever you find them, shoes come in twos. So we see our first couple of set of photographs. We see a little baby or toddler holding some shoes. And then we see these other shoes that kind of look like boots. Old shoes. You can see that their shoes are very old or new shoes that you can buy at the store or outside in a market. Just right for you shoes. So let's pause for a second. Remember, we're gonna figure out the main idea. What's the most important thing about this story and what are we learning? And so far we have to think about, well, what are we learning? We're learning all about shoes. And we're learning that there's different types of shoes that people wear. We learned there's old shoes and new shoes and all different types of shoes. Work shoes. Play shoes. So there are the boys that are playing soccer or football and the two little children. Any time of day shoes. And again, as we're listening to the story, we can also see that there's lots of photographs. And we know that these are real people and we're learning something. So we definitely know this story is nonfiction. We definitely know it is nonfiction. There are school shoes and dancing shoes. So again, be thinking about what are all the different types of shoes that you've seen? What are all the different types of shoes that you've seen in our story? Walking shoes and riding shoes. So it looks like here, when you ride a horse, you need a different type of shoe for that. Shoes, 
shoes for the ice and shoes for the snow. Let's take a moment to think. How do you think these shoes help these people who are walking in the snow or walking on the ice? How do these shoes help them? What do you think? Well, I think it definitely helps them to not slip and to walk a little bit more easily. Shoes keep your feet dry wherever you go. So just like in the cover of our story, we see the two uh, children who have their snow boots, their rain boots, excuse me. And of course, the firemen who have their special boots to keep them dry. Now there are wooden shoes, cloth shoes, and shoes made out of straw. So shoes can be made out of many different types of materials, wood, cloth, and straw. Some shoes are even made out of leather. All over the world, in lands near and far, there are shoes that are right for wherever you are. The end. So let's remind ourselves, we have to figure out the main idea of the story, shoes, shoes, shoes. And in figuring that out, we have to think about what's the most important thing in the story? What did the author want me to learn? What did I need to pay attention to? Well, we know that this story was all about shoes, but that's not the main idea. We had to think about what did we learn? Well, we learned that there's many different types of shoes for many different types of reasons. So let's think about the main idea. The main idea of shoes, shoes, shoes is that there are many different types of shoes all around the world and they're used for different reasons or different purposes. So there's different shoes for different things. That's the main idea of this story. We saw shoes that were made out of wood and cloth, shoes that are for the ice, shoes that are for dancing, shoes that are for walking around or playing. So we see that there's different types of shoes for different things. That's the main idea of this story. And then also we want to remember this story is nonfiction. We know that because there are photographs all throughout the story and we're learning things, we're learning facts, we're learning information. So that tells us that the story is nonfiction. Well, I hope you enjoyed Shoes, Shoes, Shoes and that you continue to pay attention to the main idea of all of our stories this week. All right, let's make this Monday great. I'll see you later, bye-bye.